I love the Smiths. Sorry? I said I love the Smiths. You, you could take some music. Take the Smiths. Yeah. Holy sh Hey guys, I'm Jeremy. I'm a couples counselor licensed in the state of Arizona, and today we're gonna to be breaking down this movie, 500 Days of Summer. So you have a boyfriend? No. Why not? Because I don't want one. What happens if you fall in love? Most marriages end in divorce these days, like my parents. There's no such thing as love, it's fantasy. This right here was Tom's chance to run. He clearly wants a deeper, more connected, more intimate relationship. It's love, it's not Santa Claus. Summer sent a very clear message to him. I just don't feel comfortable being anyone's girlfriend. He <laughs> likes you. Okay. Do you, Do you like me? <laughs> yeah. I'd like for us to be friends. Is that all right? Yeah. Now the question is, why do people deny how they really feel? I don't know, I hadn't really thought about it. Some people were taught from a young age that what they need and what they feel is going to be responded to with some form of judgment of, you're too needy, you're too sensitive. <laughs> when we're taught that, we end up learning to suppress what we need and what we want in order to kind of please others and make sure we're not pushing anyone away or burdening someone. So that was fun the other night. And let the games begin. This is really bad news for Tom. Again, going back to what he needs, what he wants, what he's looking for. I would guess based on her talking about her parents' divorce and all that, that she has a really negative view of close relationships. And in Tom's mind, hope is in the air. This is fun. You're fun. Thanks. I'm not really looking for anything serious. Is that okay? Yeah. If Tom were being real with her right here, he would probably say, you know what, I'm looking for something a little more serious. I'm the kind of person who really needs that sort of connection with someone and that stability. For Tom Hansen, this was the night where everything changed. That wall Summer so often hid behind. A wall of distance, of space, of casual. That wall was slowly coming down. This wall isn't going anywhere. Just because there's a moment of connection and a moment of vulnerability for her doesn't really address all of the underlying fears that she has. What are we doing? I thought we were going to the movies. Yeah, no, I mean like, what are we like, what's going on here with us? I don't know. Who cares? That's really adorable. Um, and also a pretty dismissive answer. Who cares? This is the first time in the entire movie that Tom attempts to tell her what's going on here. Summer here is trying to kind of avoid or change topics and, and lighten the mood with some playfulness and some tickles. And she's giving him just enough promise of intimacy so that he'll stay with her because guess what? She wants human connection too. Are you mad at me? I just got my ass kicked for you. Oh, really? Was that for me? Was that for my benefit? Yes, it was. OK, well, next time, don't, because I don't need your help. You know what? I'm really tired. Can we talk about this tomorrow? So in the scene before, Tom punched a guy who was flirting with Summer. Summer doesn't think it's very cool. Completely uncool. And I can totally see her point on this. Uh, However, when they go to talk about it again, you hear what she says. Can we talk about this tomorrow? The serious stuff she wants to avoid. You're about to see that after pushing and pushing down his needs for so long, Tom has had it. 
I like you, Tom. I just don't want to relate. Well, you're not the only one that gets to say in this. I do too. And I say we're a couple. He's been trying really hard to pretend he's okay with a casual relationship, to pretend he's okay with no labels. He's not. Unfortunately, because he's been pushing all that stuff down for so long, it comes out, as you saw, Friends my balls! Which is gonna be really hard for her to actually take that in and consider what he's saying. I'm sorry. I need to know that you're not gonna wake up in the morning and feel differently. I can't give you that. Nobody can. Oh. <sighs> Poor Tom. So this is actually a pretty common relationship pattern you see Summer pursuing for the first time in the movie. Ultimately, unless Tom consistently stands up for himself, it's going to go back exactly to how things were. We don't have to put a label on it. Bruh. Immediately, immediately goes back to denying what he needs, which is, I need to know that you're there for me, that I can count on you. She's an evil, emotionless, miserable human being or she's a robot more accurately she's been hurt probably by people that she really really needed to rely on she never cheated on you no never she ever take advantage of you in any way no and she told you up front that she didn't want a boyfriend yeah there's no such thing as love i'd like for us to be friends not looking for anything serious. Who cares? I just don't want to relate. I can't give you that. Maybe he thought he could change her. Maybe he thought, you know, she doesn't really mean that or she's playing hard to get. Um, but she meant it. Go for it and you can do it. That's not inspirational. That's suicidal. It's these cards. And the movies and the pop songs, they're to blame for all the lies. Let's say that from the beginning, that first moment when he sits down with Summer and she tells him there's no such thing as love it's fantasy let's say that Tom had I don't know processed any feelings that of shame that he has about his own needs then the moment she says there's no such thing as love it's fantasy it would have saved him a lot of heartache hey love Grant if at that moment he goes she's not willing to go to that deep place in a relationship where I'd like to go eventually looks like it's not going to work out I was sitting in a deli and reading Dorian Gray and a guy comes up to me and asks me about it and now he's my husband. I just kept thinking, Tom was right. No. <laughs> yeah, I did. You know, Summer went off and got married and she feels like she met the one and, and now everything's gonna be good. <laughs> I can't help but think that she really hasn't dealt with any of her trust issues or fear of intimacy. <laughs> yeah, I did. It would be only a matter of time before this similar pattern between her and Tom Friends my balls! pops up in, in her new uh, relationship with this other guy. Now, can people like Summer change? Absolutely. But it doesn't happen overnight. You know, and it certainly doesn't happen by uh, a partner trying to change them. And for Tom, you know, let's just hope that he ends up kind of realizing that he needs someone who wants intimacy just like him and can explore that with him. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you made it all the way through, that means you must have liked something about this video. So feel free to uh, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and uh, leave me a comment. If you have any suggestions for what other uh, things I should review or talk about, feel free to also leave them in the comments below. Thanks guys, have a good one.